bum, bum, bum. Shout out to us. We still doing this thing. This your boy, Big Vern, coming to you live from the App Stupid Studios. Act like you got some sense. Smash the like button. And if you're digging the content, as always, go ahead and share it. We like it when you do that. Shout out to Karen ST dollar sign exclamation point for the cash app. Appreciate the love, sis. On a busy, wet, soggy Friday here in the Midwest. I hope you all are enjoying yourselves. I hope you all had a great week. Got a couple of stories to go ahead and dive into. Matthew Judon. He calls horseshit on the Patriots actually trying to pay him and find out why that's actually the real Patriots way. Then we talk some Nit Nanny Lions, the Penn State football team. They think that this is the year they get in. That's out of Fox Sports. We'll go ahead and break that down. Then Georgia, they lost a recruit linebacker, Jaden Herlot. He's actually flipped on them. He is going to USC. And then speaking of USC, we're going to talk about quarterback Miller Moss and how he's ready for the Big Ten and just how good is USC. These stories and many more on the Action Packed Friday. This is Big Vern. I'm, I'm glad to actually be here with you all. So we're going to go ahead and kick this off when we come back from a quick 20 from a unofficial sponsor of the show. This is Big Vern, App Stupid. <laughs> Yes, Subway, eat fresh, refresh. Order online, download the app, or visit the good folks at your local Subway. Subway, eat fresh, refresh. So, gonna go ahead and jump into the Matthew Judon thing. And he's been warring back and forth with the Patriots about getting his money. Because, yeah, they owe this brother some money. Now, this is unfamiliar territory because up until this time, the New England way was Bill Belichick running rough shot over you. And if you wasn't going to play for peanuts, then they get rid of you. That's the truth. They have a history of shorting guys on the money and getting bullshit phrases like the Patriot way. Because remember, they coined that phrase when they got rid of guys and then they said this next man up mentality, that macho bullshit. But it only applies to the workers, the working class. It never applies to the owner class, the GMs, the vice presidents, the governors. It never applies to them. But again, when you control the masses with ESPN, dare I say more. And that's where we are with these cartoonish fans. Now, they tried, uh, again, uh, when we talk about what the Patriots were doing, they traded Randy Moss, a guy who broke countless records with Tom Brady. And when it came time to pay him $9.25 million, they wasn't doing it. Now, I bet you didn't know what they offered Moss. Because remember, how they painted it up in the media was that Moss is greedy. He's trying to break the bank. When you have quarterbacks signing record-breaking deals, 200-something million, we're talking about $9 million. That's how little that they didn't even want to pay Randy Moss. But this will show you the good smack in the face. They offered the man $2 million for Randy Moss. Randy freaking Moss. This dude is Hall of Fame. This dude is ridiculous. He's Air Jordan and Cleats. Outside of Randy Moss, Calvin Johnson was the only guy that I've seen that is just unguardable at any and all things. Any and all things. However, you can offer this man with $2 million and a $500,000 signing bonus. And this is how you treat a Hall of Famer. That's how you treat a Hall of Famer. That's Randy freaking Moss. They did the same shit to Richard Seymour and they tried to play it up like they didn't want to let him go, but it was the cap space and blah, 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 blah. Well, vomit in a can. Now I feel like Will Smith in that concussion movie. Tell the truth, tell the truth, tell the truth. With that little tear. <laughs> 
the man was set to make 27 million in 06 now they traded him before the deadline and got out from under his full salary and when he went to the raiders they paid him three million dollars that's the patriot way brewski had a stroke and somehow bill belichick got on the phone and talked him to coming back and getting in shoulder pads Dion Branch, two-time Super Bowl winner. Guess what the Patriots did when it came time to pay him? You already know how this story turned out. And he got a dumbass, like I said, don't be a dumbass all your life. Legacy media like ESPN were used to dupe the public and uplift these monsters, but I'm outside the machine, so I can talk about these scumbags and who they really are. And then we'll come back from a quick 20 from a rap album we're promoting this month. This is Big Burn. Drop the spot. Yes. Eminem, the death of Slim Shady, in the stores now. Get it where you legally consume music, whether it's Google Play, Apple Music, or Spotify. The death of Slim Shady, my favorites on the album, Habits, Him, and White Gold, Evil, Fuel, with him and J.I.D., that song takes off for me. I'm sorry, J.I.D. is a full problem on these streets. And then Somebody Save Me with him and Jelly Roll, very vulnerable. I'm like I say, if I'm gonna be honest about my Slim Shady fandom, it is basically after the good and the bad and the evil CD with him and Royce the Five Nine. Everything after that, I'm a fan of because it has substance. Everything before that, he can miss me with that. That was just him saying shit to get a rise out of people. And I'm like, I, I can't listen to meaningless stuff. But however, Slim Shady, get the album, The Death of Slim Shady, in stores right now by Eminem. So when we come back and we was getting into this, this brings us to full circle with Matthew Judon and how he refuses to be a puppet in negotiations. Because remember, the Patriot way is not actually paying people at all and then getting legacy media to cover your ass. Calling out Diana Rossini of The Athletic for reporting fake news on Twitter saying, and I quote, no, they haven't, but it makes me look bad again. Don't believe the lies, end quote. Now, that's because The Athletic broke it that they offered Judon a contract. No, they didn't. This is directly from the horse's mouth. That is why ESPN is having record layoffs. That is why people are getting fired left and right because they no longer control the media. When you have new media out there as the YouTube platform, Twitter, and all these other spaces, people are able to go ahead and refute any and everything. And Judon is a trooper because, you know, I'll be like, y'all kiss my ass. <laughs> I'll be back when that money show up. But Judon opened training camp by, well, he indicated that he was to play the good soldier despite being unhappy with his contract, telling reporters last week that I signed the deal, my signature's on it, so I have to play by it, end quote. And that makes you respect this dude even more because he's a stand-up guy right there. Again, that makes you respect him even more because he's a stand-up dude. He signed his name on it. He's not trying to run from it, but he's just telling you, I don't like it here. I don't like it here. Trying to get a new deal. Y'all not trying to pay me? Okay. Now, what I didn't like is Gerard Mayo. That's the new guy. He's the head coach. And him going out to jump on a grenade. Yo, my dude, you got the job already. Stop being an empty suit for these people. They're going to fire you anyway. But Mayo pushed back on the idea that Judon was disgruntled, saying, and I quote, that his attitude and practice in the meetings have been great. What are you doing that for? What are you trying to control the narrative for? You're not him, sir. How do you know how he feels? Now we can read feelings. Beyond fake smiles and stop being a shield for these people, man. I keep telling you, you got that job already. You need to stop buck dancing and tap dancing out here. But after trying to lie for the owner class, guess what happened? Judon set off on the sidelines at practice and was spotted having an animated conversation with Mayo and the other owner's de facto general manager, Elliot Wolf, 
and director of the well director of the player personnel matt gore before ultimately leaving the field judon was not on the field at all at tuesday's practice this week but that's the guy who's got a good attitude that's the guy who you sit up here and say he's not disgruntled at all again that made you look like an idiot why did you want to go out there and jump on that grenade is beyond me you just made yourself look like a damn fool high five moron now we know you can't be trusted the guy you said had a great attitude was ripping your ass along with the higher ups then he left but see they are into divide and conquer and we'll tell you more when we come back from our final 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show. This is Big Vern. Drop the spot. Yes, Burger King, have it your way, because you rule. Order online, download the app, or visit the good folks at your local Burger King. Burger King, because you rule. So when we last left off, we were talking about another disgruntled New England uh, Patriots defensive player, and that would have been the defensive tackle, Davon Goddard. Now, he was mad about his money, and he wasn't getting it. And out of nowhere, the two sides reached an agreement on a two-year extension worth $21 million and includes a $16.5 million guarantee. Now, that deal was negotiated by Drew Rosenhaus, the devil, and Jason Rosenhaus, the devil's son, and Ryan Matha. Look at the names associated. Ryan Matha and Drew and Jason Rosenhaus. Judah has no agent of record. He fired his his agent and his manager, and he has no publicist. So y'all can talk to the Rosenhaus and Mathers of the world, but y'all can't sit down and talk to him like he's a grown man? Come on now. Welcome to the New England way. These dudes are trash, and they've always been who they were. And so when you see stuff like this, you shouldn't be heartbroken. But I'm interested. Patriots faithful, let me know. Is this the Foxborough shuffle? Are they all full of shit? Or can you get it together? This is Big Vern.